So we've got a few unusual ones as well on the herb front. We have uh, Parcel along with Lovage. And the reason those two get lumped together is the Lovage looks like flat leaf parsley, grows that nice broad leaf, kind of looks exactly the same, but the flavor is a really, really sharp celery flavor. The Parcel, again, looks like parsley and tastes like celery. More of a curly parsley look to that plant and how it grows and uh, the leaf uh, shape as well but that has a little bit of a sweeter celery flavor. So I know it's a little weird to have a celery flavor on a leaf, but uh, if you want celery flavor without all the bulk and the string and the crunch of celery, maybe in a salad or something like that, a nice one to have. If you do your own cream cheeses, mix your own herbal cream cheeses, do your own vinegars, that kind of thing. Again, those are nice to have. Even in white rice, just chopping those up and stirring it in white rice kind of adds another dimension, a little bit more flavor as well. We also have French sorrel, so it's that larger uh, sorrel leaf, kind of that almost bitter kind of lemon flavor. Again, quite nice as a salad green, uh, nice flavor. Hot and spicy oregano, that's an ever popular one being that oregano is pretty widely used and that's got a hot and spicy dimension to it. It's not, and when I say hot, don't think of like a ghost pepper or hot sauce or something like that. It's just got a nice kind of kick, a nice zing to it with all that oregano flavor. So really nice, you know, in a pizza crust or uh, in your pasta sauce and that kind of thing. Hopefully that helps you out and look forward to serving you.